Hello friends. I just wanted to hop on here really quick. Um, my daughter's in the basement, so hopefully she'll stay down there a little bit so I can get this done. But I wanted to um, hop on here. I know this video is kind of awkward. Um, last week, somebody posted a very interesting um, fruit and vegetable wash. Not the wash itself, because we've been using it for so long. Um, testimony and it was specifically to broccoli and I was instantly grossed out completely grossed out and I wanted to test it I mean I believe her um, I love the thieves product and so I totally believe her um, but I really wanted to see it I wanted to see it for myself so this is what we're gonna do I have bowls here these are soaking has nothing to do with the thing but I'm cleaning my fruits my apples and uh, mango and why would I be cleaning a mango? Because I don't clean the, um, we don't eat the skin, but I have to cut through the skin. So I want to make sure that what I cut through is um, clean. All right, so this is what the challenge is. It is um, a thing of broccoli. And it's using the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Wash, which I use anyways. So I have two bowls here. I'm going to use regular water. I don't have, um, Use regular water in one um, and a cap full of thieves veggie water and approximately a gallon or so of water in um, in that one. So tap water. Now I used to before I started using the thieves fruit and veggie wash, I would use the the old technique of um, salt, soaking it in salt first for. This is going to three uh, a couple minutes. Then you have to rinse all of the salt off. Then you have to put all of the produce um, into a bowl with um, a half a cup of distilled white vinegar and water and let it soak for five to 15 minutes. So if any of you know me, um, I don't have a lot of time. As I'm sure you probably don't have a lot of time either. So um, this is much faster. It is one cap of this to a gallon of water, um, and it's, it's one to two tablespoons, I think, uh, two tablespoons per cap. I just use the gallon because it's easier. All right, so the recipe here is taking this thing of broccoli, which I just took out of this bag, and we're going to cut it in half. Um, I think she actually used a, just a section of it. it. was kind of, it was actually really cool looking. So we have broccoli that now looks like this, okay? We're going to put one of them in the vinegar, or in, not the vinegar, into the thieves, veggie cleaner, and the water. Now, I would be happy to do the water, salt, soaking, uh, white vinegar uh, trick for you, but um, yeah, uh, it's a ticking time bomb in the basement, so I'm not gonna do that. So in her, her video, um, she kind of swirled it around um, in both of them. I don't know, a minute or two. She kind of she just talked her way through it, um, and uh, then pulled it out for comparison. Now, of course, I did this last night to make sure I didn't wasn't making a fool of myself on video uh, today, and um, it worked. I was so creeped out. <laughs> Totally creeped out. Anyways, so Thieves Fruit and Veggie Wash are soak. It does come in a spray that you can have on the road. Um, and it is a combination of three of our popular um, essential oils. Thieves, Purification, <laughs> one other, uh, Digize. Oh, the most important one. Um, what I love about this, and I've been using it for several years or since it came out, is that one, I find it makes my produce last longer. Uh, even though everything that you read says you're not supposed to wash it until right before you eat it um, because it can create bacteria. But I mean, I typically let my stuff dry before I stick it in the refrigerator. Here comes Lily. She's decided she'd like to be in the video because cats are supposed to be on the counter. Anyways. Um, the other thing I like is how fast it is. Like I can just throw this into this bowl. Like these apples have been in here probably soaking way longer than I needed to be. But I made the bowl up and it was good to go. Um, and 
it doesn't taste like I, I rinse it off and I don't taste any of the solution. There's no horrible odor. My refrigerator doesn't smell like it. Um, and if I time things right, uh, one container of this really lasts quite a long time. So like I will clean my smooth surface things like my apples and mangoes and stuff like that first. And then has, then I'll do berries blueberries and strawberries or whatever. Um, and if they're not horribly disgusting after that, after that, then I'll do greens. Although sometimes the, some of the strawberries are a little gross and I'll just dump it. Um, the other thing is I can just put a bunch of greens in here and let it soak and then rinse it off and all is good. Uh, so, all right, that's probably plenty of time. Uh, probably more time than hers. So we're just going to rinse, do a little rinse here. I don't know if you can see it. I might have to take a or after picture. Oops, let's do this. So Lily's trying to figure out how to get here. So can you see the difference here? This is the clean one. It's all nice and green now. And this is the one that still has that um that like residue-y stuff on it. So it's not quite as noticeable because the light's really cruddy in here, but I'm gonna take a an after picture and post it too. But um yeah, gross. So that's the experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, my mind's pretty blown. And I'll, like I said, I'll post a picture later. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, yes, I'm going to continue to wash my produce. Oh, and I have, like I wash my pineapple too. I don't eat the skin of the pineapple, but I wash it too. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.